Hello Internet, welcome to Games Done Wrongish. Hey guys, we're here today to take a look at Warface. Why? Well, I was browsing Reddit and came across this thread that said Warface is now free to play via the NZ store. The NZ store meaning New Zealand store, I would assume. However, I was a day late to this post, so by the time I had seen it, it was going to be free to play for everyone. I decided, first off, I know nothing of Warface, so let's have a look at the comments, shall we? And here is what I saw. Tried the Xbox One beta a few weeks ago, expecting pure garbage, but it was actually kind of fun. I'm not a fan of the way buying guns is, but I can deal with that for it being free to play. They are just shooting themselves in the foot, releasing right before COD and RDR2 though. I love this back in the 360 days, hopefully it holds up. Completed it on 360, actually enjoyed it, but did I enjoy it enough to stack? F it, it can go on the pile of shame. I too enjoyed it on the 360. One of the few FPS I played online because that was the game. Not a classic, but it was fun while it lasted. I don't see why people don't like this game. Seems like a pretty decent free to play FPS. We will come back to this Reddit thread later on after we've seen my playthrough. Okay, Warface on the Xbox One. We chose the most suitable server, but you can change it if you want, Realm Amsterdam. This is a pre-recording. I played this the evening before the, doing this recording. Just uh, full disclosure there, I'm not actually playing the game right now. I'm just going to talk over the experience that I had and what I saw and felt about the game as I was playing it. I do pretty much remember it was only last night, so it's quite fresh in my memory. Um, this, by the way, adjusting the brightness. Do as they say. I never really paid much attention to this before. I always thought, well, hang on, especially when playing scary games, um, horror games, that hang on, I might not be able to see stuff and stuff's just going to jump out at me in the dark. So I used to leave those um, not as dark as they would suggest, thinking that I'd see the enemies before they jumped out at me and I'd be fine. That's not the case. The, the If you get the darks and the brights, the darks and the whites are perfect. Everything pops out a lot more, it's much better. Anyway, character creation, you need to pick a head. That's all, that's all you could do here as far as I remember. Um, yeah, so I just went through. I generally play a bald headed guy because it pretty much suits me. I generally have my head quite close shaven myself because I'm going bald, obviously. Um, <laughs> and it doesn't look right when it grows long. So here we go, creating character, I chose my head, that's it for character creation. And here we go, now we're told about the assault and sniper training that we're going to be doing next. Completion gives us this AUG A3 rifle, armoured vest and $3,000 in money. If it's dollars, whatever this game uses as currency, we'll get 3000 of those. Welcome to your first training camp recruit. <laughs> I was trying to get out of the plane here, I'm like, come on, let me out, but obviously the mission hadn't started yet, so I just needed to be a little patient. We're still lowering the helicopter not plane, sorry. The chopper. I'm trying to get out of here, but I couldn't. I see some guys, and then there we go. Look, in a war zone, he just sat there on a chair. This is all the training anyway, so it makes some sort some walls that you can scale. Scale the wall to continue. So your basic actions just everything seems to be press A in that first section there to jump and to scale walls. B to crouch. Um, very obvious controls that you will use in most of these style games. Even, again, hop over a balcony, not, nothing extra. Just press A as you've been doing so far. I do use the zoom feature here. Oh, the, the aim feature, not zoom. And the next training is going to be to use aim, see? <laughs> so, yeah, I'd already done that. So I kind of had uh, one up on them here, I guess, in this training simulator. But as you can see here, it's just um, boards, just cutouts of of enemies, not real enemies, you're not, there's no immediate danger here, you're just getting used to the controls, which as I say are your basic general controls of A jump, B crouch, left trigger, aim, right trigger, shoot, 
I mean, but you can add attachments like this with the D-pad if you have them. And now you obviously get a better zoom. This is zoom this time, not just aim. And so far, not looking too bad. Graphics look okay. Gunplay doesn't feel too bad. Thinking, hmm, this might be all right. This might be okay. It's a free-to-play game, by the way, so... Um, you know, my feelings on the game as I went in were not as as harsh as they would be for, say, a game like Call of Duty or Battlefield or something like that. I'm expecting it to be a bit janky. I'm expecting it to be a bit a bit crap, to be fair. But so far, it didn't seem too bad. Not something I would pay for, but as a free to play. I couldn't work out how that re replenishing of ammo worked there. You had to just press left trigger whilst holding an ammo ammunition box in front of you and you it replenished your, your ammo. No fire. idea Help your teammate get over the wall. how that worked. It didn't show you any any anima animation of you taking out the bullets or the ammo or anything like that. You just did, basically. And there you go, you could help each other up. Look at this guy, he's doing a bit of a jig here. Like he's playing the guitar or something. Switch to the sniper class. So now we have to change class. Uh, it did say this was going to be a rifleman and a sniper training, so here we go. I'm not sure you can actually just switch classes like that when you're playing the game as easily. I don't think so. But for the purposes here of the training, you can. You can just switch from assault to sniper. And then you adjust your basic shooting things from afar this one this one uh yeah this one taxed me a little bit i mean it was moving come on that one not so much but this one yeah keeps just moving behind the just behind the pillars as i was about to shoot it next stop we are told to use this rocket launcher the rocket launcher is the I don't only wait for <laughs> just fire it. There's a truck there with a target on it. I've got a rocket launcher. You know, one on one is two. There you go. Let's shoot it. I'm surprised I didn't take a pop shot at the helicopter there then. I heard a helicopter coming over. I'm surprised I didn't try to shoot it down, even though, you know, it's probably our evac. But still, I should have tried it. So there you go, completed basic training wasn't difficult everything you would expect from a shooter as i say a to jump b to dock and crouch left trigger to aim right trigger to shoot and then that's pretty much it you know, there, there was a little bit um a little bit of things slightly different where you could give ammo to your friends or you know rearm yourself so as as the assault guy you do carry around ammo which is Andy, I guess because you can give it to you people in your party if you're playing multiplayer or you can just use it yourself to reload your own weapons when you start to run out of ammo oh so here we get this congratulations you've received an item it did tell us at the start there that we would get this gun the m4a1 uh no the arg a3 I, I currently have an m4a1 the arg a3 but you only have it for five days look in the brackets five days from the date received so I get this weapon but in five days that'll be gone so i need to find another one which i thought was really weird i mean this is for basic training and the same here with the armored vest awesome you've got it provides 50 additional armor points and regenerates four armor points over time after five seconds without being hit but again you only have it for five days made no sense but then i figured out this is how this game works this is how they make money so you get these weapons and sometimes you'll see man's already down at four days 23 hours i lost an hour there just by going from one menu to another but already yeah it's going down so i'm not going to have it for long and then you do need to keep buying others you have lots of different um currencies at the bottom there you'll see the three thousand dollars that i got which you can buy weapons with but you know they they want you to buy the k's the one next to it that's that's how they're going to make their money. That's their currency, their 
uh, microtransaction currency that they want you to buy to be able to keep buying the weapons whenever you choose. Um, that was two factions you could switch to there as well. There seems to be two factions in this game and don't really make much sense. I just took a look at the shop here. So you'll see a lot of them are the same weapon that you, you can pick up in the game or similar weapons that you can pick up in the game, but they've got skins on them. So you'll see here, these crowns you can buy, but you only get the weapon for a day. If you use the cage, you get it permanent with these skins on them. Now there's some weapons here like this LMG that would be permanent if you purchased it with your dollars. But that one, one day, if you use crowns, and there's no way to purchase it. The ACR Elite Crown, absolutely no way to purchase it for more than one day. Which, why would you do that? Why would you, <laughs> why would you pay for a weapon? And if you're making thousands and thousands of crowns by playing this game, then maybe you want to just stick it on for a day. The same with that helmet there, look. The Elite Crown helmet, one day, 250 crowns. It's just crazy. Just... Everything is, uh, you can buy crowns, you can buy dollars. But, and I guess that's another way they would make money, that those items, those elite items, were only available via crowns. And to get the crowns, you have to spend the Ks to buy the crowns, and then the crowns to buy the elite items. So here I was just checking if there were private rooms. I didn't realise at the time that was just going to create a room for me. I didn't want a private room, so I'd get out of here. I'm looking at, I'm on co-op now. You'll see at the top there, there's co-op special operations versus and versus ranked match. So at the moment I figured I'd try out the co-op practice. Hot walk, eliminate Blackwood's personnel in the hot sun. Um, this game you play with, I think it's three other players. Um, or maybe, maybe four, max four invitations for this mode. But none of my friends are currently online. Though I did have friends online, they just weren't playing this game. I guess it means. So Rifleman, you saw I got that new gun. But as soon as I click play as Rifleman, I don't have that gun for some reason. I'm back to the original, old gun. And I couldn't figure out why that was. I didn't try to figure that out either. I just noticed it later on. But anyway, you're in a shooting range, obviously, as you can see waiting for the game to start, waiting for it to connect to the server and join you up. This is basically the lobby. So you're just waiting for it to put you in a group with three or four other players. Oh, actually I do have the RG3 there. It said in the bottom right, maybe I did have the new gun and I just thought it looked different. There's a point later on, I'm sure, that I'm playing this um, assault guy and i go to check my weapons it may be in the multiplayer when we get to that and there's a part where i just check my weapon just to see what it is and it's not the org 3 which i'm supposed to have five days i've seen to i seem to lose it at some point i don't think i decide to pick up another one or exchange it with another one but i'll keep an eye out now that we're watching the video back together and look at that perform severe murder action what does that mean <laughs> perform severe murder action. The tragedy of Africa is that its people are poor, yet its lands are rich. Unlike colonialists of old, black doesn't even pretend. So yes, luckily there's no friendly fire here. They're in Africa. On the edges. We must expel them from the continent. And we need to get the bad guys off here because they are exploiting the, the people of this area. Find them Very generic find stories them. to these, but... Uh, Oh yeah, the movement here, you see they're like moving side to side, kind of like skating along, which I felt was weird. Um, but they do seem to load up. What I did notice in this, as you'll probably notice yourself in a, in a few moments, is the game is clearly peer-to-peer. -peer. And the, whoever's game I'm currently in, whoever the host is, I'm not sure how you would, you would know that for sure. But whoever I'm hosted by, doesn't seem to have the most stable connection. Things do start to pop in and pop out. Um, and these enemies, you'll just see that, that guy there, he was basically in my face doing nothing. I think he did take a shot at me, but um, I think there's what, another one, or maybe that was it, where they get really close to you and they just stand there as if they're, sh they're shocked. But yeah, in, in the... Um, 
the latency in this can be a big issue, I guess. But to be honest, geez, it's not it's it's not gonna bother me past this this gameplay, that's for sure. This actually this story this practice it gets you in, lets you know that there is um there was a machine gunner there that needed flanking. Uh, those two guys, whilst I'm messing about just looking around the areas, those two guys have already taken out that people in front. But you'll see that there seems to be enemies that end up behind us again. So they must just respawn in at certain points. So if you were all staying together, somebody needs to keep an eye on the back because there is a chance that enemies will keep approaching you from behind even though you think you've cleared the area up to where you need to go. It looks like they do spawn back in again behind you. Or oh, these guys have just run straight past without killing them. Which is also possible because they do seem to be, you know. Oh look, there was the jankiness. I was up those steps and then just got knocked back. Back down the steps, had to reclimb them. That was the latency, the lag issues there. I'm not sure what the main objective was here. I thought it was just to take out the enemies. So if we did leave some behind, whether that would have mattered or not. So rockets, rocket guys could take out our team. So there's someone there. Luckily in this, um, in the training, it does highlight them with a big red square like that. Like the yellow one now, but it was red. I don't know if you noticed that prior to the, me saying it. It did pop up for a while, there was like a red, not square, rectangle to show you who the rocket launcher was. We can't, we left him till the last one anyway. And I'm just trying to figure out how to get more ammo again because I, I had to switch to my pistol. I'd run out of ammo. And there you go, I got 120 bullets back in my main weapon again now. Now you'll see the enemies are highlighted, the friendlies are highlighted with blue around their, around the, their bodies and the enemies are red all around them to highlight where they are. That's pretty much only for this practice I think. Uh, it may be an option that you could switch on, in fact I think it probably is an option you can switch on in multiplayer um, so that the enemies highlight. The multiplayer that I'm playing in a little bit which you'll, which you'll see. I think states that it's turned off. Pretty sure it does. So you'll see there's my friends here not looking behind them at all. And as I say, the, the enemies do seem to keep spawning back behind you. So he's shooting over the edge there and there was an enemy shooting him in the back, which I managed to save him. Now I thought I was doing quite well. 14 kills already. Um, but obviously, this is, that was the guy, see who came just walking right up to me with his gimp mask on, just didn't even, he had a shotgun, he probably could have blown me away, he just didn't fire it. Didn't do anything. And I'm stuck with the, the sidearm again now, because my main rifle must be out of bullets again. I could um, use my stock ammo to re reload, it's still on LB. Well, I think I do that now. Yeah, there it is. I get my ammo back for my main weapon. Got 120 ammo in there again now. So yeah, as the assault, you do carry around extra ammo, which you can give to your teammates or you can use yourself. I think the the icon above their head, the ammo icon, shows whether they have ammo available to give. I think that's how it works, but I'm not I'm not 100 percent sure on that, so don't quote me. Here we seem to just have to take down the guys and then blow up this machine in the middle here. That was the main objective, it's just come back to me now. Obviously, because I've seen it on screen. And then that's destroyed, and I think we have to make our way out, and that's pretty much the uh the practice session done. You do have to wait there until that's blown up before you can open that door. And now it's just a basic. Make our way out. Cause you see the guys keep, I think they keep respawning behind them, but I don't know. Maybe they're just running by and not uh, 
not clearing rooms, just trying to get to the end as fast as possible. So this this doesn't look too bad, does it? You know, the the co-op games, the co-op sections. Um, you have an objective to do. You get in. You 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 defeat all the guys. You destroy the machine in the middle, and then you basically get out. So it doesn't seem too bad. Gameplay is okay. The graphics seem fine enough. I mean, there's nothing too spectacular. It's built on the Crytek engine, so it'll be things you've seen before. Um, nothing, nothing amazing, but nothing that bad. So now you see the, the so evacuation is here, but we all been wandering around. We're just waiting for everybody to get back up. All four of us. Now that we're all here, we can leave. And that's it, mission complete. And it took 7 minutes and 25 seconds to do that one mission. 7 minutes 28 by the time it bothered loading. Will it dodge or finish the mission on easy or practice without dying? Seeing as it's a practice mission, I had to be on practice, I think. Oh, and I didn't die, so that's, that's good. Yeah, and you could vote for another map there. But I think because I was only in the practice... I automatically leave the party afterwards. I can't remember, but yeah. Or it just keeps redoing the practice mission. I don't know if these guys like to do it over and over. This is probably a thing with this game, with it being free to play. It might be that people just run the same mission over and over and over for the for the money. But I don't see what else you would be running this mission for, other than those seventy two dollars there. Seventy two dollars doesn't seem a lot considering you got three thousand for training does it but i guess it all adds up at this point so here we go we do a medic training next and if we do so we'll get a shotgun a pistol and three thousand more dollars so it's definitely worth doing for those three thousand dollars if you're going to continue to play this game so i decided to do that okay we'll go and do the medic training this was interesting because it is a lot like um assault still you have a shotgun, as you can see, and a pistol. But as a medic, obviously, instead of the ammo that you carry around as an assault, you carry around a defibrillator and a and a med pack. And you get quickly shown how to use these very early on. Again, this guy wasn't sat in his chair, he probably should have been, because he might not have got blown up by that car. But seeing as he has, we have to use the defibrillator and bring them back to life. Really decent machines, though. I didn't know they were like that. It keeps saying this indicator will appear, but I didn't see maybe the press X. I didn't didn't notice that initially. I'm assuming it doesn't matter how close or how far you are from that gate, you're going to get hurt from it by it. So did he, obviously, so you have to heal him first, and then heal yourself. Same as the ammo, you can use it on someone else, or you can press the left trigger to use it on your um, on yourself. It works exactly the same as ammo, where you could give ammo to, to a, a party member, or you can use the ammo on yourself, the same works with the med kit. And then you have a shotgun, close range, obviously. Just just basically taking on the guys but as the woman says there if you're playing in multiplayer you most likely be looking at soldiers that you can heal up rather than killing um, the other characters because killing the enemies rather because you're not going to be very efficient unless you're very close you see I wasn't very far at all oh no actually this one is just because I'm not sliding Sliding shotgun attack. It became very popular in Destiny, that one in the original Destiny, I remember. A lot of people that thought they were good used to just slide around with a shotgun. It was annoying because, you know, shotguns, well overpowered. So there you go, you saw you couldn't reach with the shotgun there to switch to the pistol, which is why shotguns are not really that good, especially when playing with other teammates because. They'll just be going in and murdering everything at distance. So you generally won't get that close as a medic. You're better off just hanging back and just 
just healing people. Actually, the medic doesn't sound like a fun class at all, especially when you see how this game actually plays out in the multiplayer and stuff, which is coming up. It's a while to load, obviously, but let's see, it's a free to play game, and so far, I wasn't that unimpressed. I wasn't that impressed either. I was, I was just, it's fine. fine. It's a fine game. I'm okay with it. I don't have too many issues with it at the moment. That may change. So, a rank up bonus you could get, but it says you already, I already have it, I think. Yeah, just above the okay reward is already in your storage. So, I must have got this reward from doing the assault training. So I couldn't actually get it from the medic train. Oh, do I equip this? No, I don't. I didn't think so. I closed. I didn't equip the the items there because I didn't want that other weapon to be on my assault guy. I wanted the weapon that um, was going to last five days to stay on there. But I definitely did not equip that there, which is why it confused me that um, when I go into the multiplayer next, I don't seem to have that weapon equipped anymore. The the five day one, the one that's only going to last five days. I don't seem to have it for some reason. As I'm sure we'll see. So yeah, I saw here now. There is a new level opened up. You have to play it on easy first before you can move on to the other difficulties, I think. And I decided, ah, well, I get the idea of the co-op, the PVE. Let's move on to the verses, shall we? So on versus team deathmatch free for all plant the bomb storm capture bag and tag blitz. I'm thinking team deathmatch seems number one seems like it should be the rookie mode to get into. And you get a good idea of the game. The whole match is not going to just rest on your shoulders. So it seems like the ideal one to go in. As a new player to this game, why not join in some sub team deathmatch? So you see I'm joining the room here, if the, the room was found, the game is starting, for some reason on this one there's an issue so I have to wait for the entire loading here and then it goes to load but then next thing I'm back in the menus I think, I remember, if I recall correctly which I should because it was just last night, I once the loading bar is complete I'm just back in the main menu, it didn't load me into the game, something went wrong and again as I said is this is down to the peer-to-peer -peer issues obviously if uh, if you're playing with people with bad connections this this kind of stuff's going to happen quite often and even when you get in the game there's no guarantee that it's going to be very stable which is a shame because well i was going to say because it's not a bad game but it's it's not great you'll see when you get into the multiplayer like this is well, what i imagine is going to be the game's bread and butter the the multiplayer, this is what is going to keep players wanting to come back. Or it should be. It should be the thing that, <laughs> that that makes players want to keep coming back, playing them over and over. But for me, it, uh, you'll see there's quite a few ranks up there. If you look at that Zombie Slayer and Bad Bars and Rafter Man, they must have played quite a while because they've, they've ranked up quite a bit. Anyway... For me, it, I don't think, I don't, I don't know if I'd ever get that high. I don't even know what it would take to get that high of a level though, rank. I don't know how long you have to play. I did not realise this loading screen was so long, waiting for other players. And this again, is down to lag and where people are situated around the world, I guess. The latency between them. And the host, it is peer to peer, so this is hosted on just someone's Xbox somewhere. We don't know where they are, we don't, don't even know who the host is. I couldn't figure out who was the host, so it's just um, hope and pray basically. So here we are, we're in the multiplayer with Team Deathmatch. Oh, yeah, this guy's got no head, and no, no feet. See, so there's that. And I just saw one of my guys go down, and then I got killed by the same person. 
Not a good start. I should have been able to take him down, especially as he was concentrating on my my teammate. And there we go, I got my first kill. So, not too bad. The gun felt weighty enough. Well, it is the Org A3, it says on the, on the right there. But I'm pretty sure I checked my equipment in a bit and it's not, and I don't have that equipped. Well, maybe I do, maybe I'm just not realising. Maybe I didn't realise what was going on. So yeah, there we go, dead again. Oh yeah, and now I'm being spawn camped. So these maps are so small, it takes us a while here. I'm wondering what's, what's just past this blue container here, because this is as far as we've got so far, which I feel, I felt was still in our base. We need to get out. How are they managing to pin us back so early on? I was caught reloading there, and there you go, shotgun slide. But I don't think he's a shotgunner, but uh, well, maybe he was, yeah he was. So, still we're pinned in here, we're pinned in close to our base. We're getting shot again already. We're not able to break out, but I'm just thinking, right, I saw someone just took out my teammate there, but I should be able to get him, clearly not, he saw me. And this is where I started to think, right, I've got to get this, maybe not now, in the next, maybe my next spawn. Eventually it comes together. I've got to get the my aiming rate because they're taking me out with headshots quicker than I can take them. So I need to start aiming for the head. I need to start reacting a bit quicker. Not like that. I was trying to throw a grenade there. I thought I... I thought I got the hang of it a bit earlier than this, but obviously it took me a few more turns than I than I thought, than I realised. But I do get the, I do start to get uh, a few kills in a row very soon. I think, pretty sure I do. There's only like six, seven minutes left, so <laughs> so it has to come together at some point, right? The whole match on the last seven more minutes even. I did feel like there weren't many spawn points but this will become apparent once we can push past this container. It's clearly proving much more difficult than, than I remembered. Right there we go, now I'm aiming for the heads I think. Now I've got, I've started to, what am I doing? Oh yeah. Yeah, I tried to throw a grenade and ended up pressing LB instead of RB, so I built up my ammo. I was just doing the uh, tried and trusted Call of Duty tactic of just throw your grenade straight away at the start of the... Uh, as soon as you spawn, run in, throw a grenade. Hope for the best. Didn't work there, obviously. I saw someone there and I thought I was going to get caught out reloading again. Got someone from behind there, not very uh, on a bound, but still, kills a kill, I'm on three now. And here we go, we start to make it into their, their portion of the map. Just picked her out the corner, but uh, now getting the feel for the game, we're now going to be able to start pushing into their portion and having a look around, see where what they have. And this is it, this is it, just this little square here. This little square area. They all just respawn here. We just respawn there. So there's a basically a blue container in the middle. Which has got yellow containers stuck on top of it. This one here. And then you get into their area. And they've got just as small an area as you. This map is so, so tiny. And you're basically spawning on top of each other. And then... You just... Just go for frags. There's no tactics required, there's no nothing. Everybody's just spawning on top of one another. It's really, really bad. Now, when you couple this with um, with the, the fact that even when you do earn dollars, credits, or whatever, or if you pay for the currency, <laughs> you can end up getting weapons that you only get for, you only get for like five days. So, 
You might you might save up and you might get a weapon with a great skin that you like and then five days later you'll come back on and you don't have it anymore. Unless, of course, you uh, you pay the real credits, the Ks for it. You can buy permanent ones. And you can buy permanent versions of these same weapons without the skins. So the basic colour, the basic weapons with no skins attached, like the one I'm holding right now, that one does have a uh, an option to buy it with the dollars permanently. So the whole the whole um, pull to the game, I guess, is to have these fancy skinned weapons. But the way they get you to keep coming back and, and spending more money is by giving them you for a limited time only, which I don't I don't think is a very good model at all. Especially in a game that's not this good. Not that good, I should say. I mean, look at it. There's nothing appealing about this. You respawn, you kill or be killed, you respawn, you kill or be killed again. In a very, very small map with not very much going on. And you know that you're in their area now, but you know you've still not got long to survive because they're all just respawning instantly back here where you are so they're definitely going to be coming back for you any second and see all my team were dead there and was running back in there was only me alive for a short spell I won't last much longer either I'm pretty sure of that and you were there you, I see they have a medic there Mr. Pork Mr. Pork Chop is, is, is a medic on our side but I don't see what the point in that would be in this because it's not like you've got time to just stop and heal up you haven't got time to just basically use your 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 ammunition boxes your med kits your defibrillator whatever you don't have time for that because you just dead respawn dead respawn dead respawn same on the other side somebody's left already look la boss jacob they left because actually they was quite high level weren't they Maybe they'd stuck to the PvE. Maybe the PvE is not too bad, but the PvP, it's, it's just it's just awful. So yeah, I just I just don't see myself coming back to this game. I don't see myself coming back to this game at all. But after this, after playing through this PvP match, I was not enjoying it. Sure, I was getting the odd kills, but I had three three kill strike a few times. So there's only four players on the team. On each team, that's not too bad, I guess. This guy, this bad Bars, he just stays up there for the rest of this match, I think. Picking us off, and for some reason, we couldn't get him. We couldn't get him down. I did try sneaking around and firing up there, but I couldn't get at him. Maybe someone killed him that time, but he just keeps going back up there. There, I think he was there again then. He does keep heading back up there and just shooting down from the container, which... Again, it's just it's just boring, isn't it? Because there's there's no objective, there's nothing for you to do. It's just frag. So you can you can just go and sit up on top of a shipping container and just shoot fools as they're walking below underneath you. There's nothing to stop you doing that because there's no other aim or objective to the game. There's nothing you really need to and how did that guy slide on the floor, take a bunch of bullets, get up and then shoot me? Makes no sense. I got the, I got that guy. He was the one that killed me, but he still took me a lot of shots before he died. I if he, I think, I feel if he would have just managed to see me and get a shot off, I'd have probably died much sooner. So I'm running out of things to say now because the game is just so bad. Just no, there's no text, no fun. There's no nothing, no fun to be had in it. I was so bored, so annoyed. Um, at this point, I just wanted to get out. I'm going to wait until this uh, match ends, just so we can see how we did, and then that'll be it. Because it's coming up, we're at uh, just a, just over a minute to go, so we may as well see it through. Well, actually, time's up on the match. I mean, off this recording, just over a minute to go. So there we go. <clears throat> I kept second on my team, and probably next to last, but well. 
third from last or something overall. That was it. I didn't see any major reward. Didn't see any major reason to reason to continue on here. Just wait these seconds out to see if it does say. Ah, there we go. Um. Yeah, I got nine headshot kills. I got so twenty five kills and twenty five deaths. So zero for zero. KD ratio is it or one for one? Um, none of those was headshots. Four were explosive kills, and that's it. But what did we actually earn from that? Oh, there, I earned one hundred and eighty-one of the dollars, and that was that. So yeah, I'd had enough at this point, and I stopped playing. That, that's that's all I can say now. Well, there we go. Playthrough done. As I stated at the start of the video, we'd head back to Reddit. Because at the time when I first looked at it, they honestly were the comments that I saw and I was thinking, oh, maybe this is pretty decent, I'll have to give it a go. After playing it though, I thought, nah, this is not a decent game. This is not good at all, actually. Did I miss something? Did I have the blinkers on? So I went back. And maybe I did have my blinkers on. Maybe I was just looking for positive comments because there were quite a few that were not positive. But I honestly did not see them or notice them. Maybe I just scanned past them and maybe I'm immune to seeing bad comments on Reddit these days because I'm so used to seeing them. I'm so used to people downvoting for no reasons and saying bad things about games and, and people's comments for no reason. Maybe I just scan past them these days. But anyway, now that I went back actually looking for bad comments, this is what I found. Got to play a nice hour and a half of it. Never want to play it again. It feels like the worst FPS I have ever played. I can't really understand why anyone would want to play this game. I played the beta, and the whole feels utterly outdated, unpolished and uninspired. The abysmal F2P game economy makes it even worse. I paid $25 and Microsoft wouldn't give me a refund. Sad face. I felt cheated for paying for it. And last but not least, my favourite, goddamn Kiwis. So there we have it, Warface. What did you think? Are you going to play it? Are you going to give it a miss? I pretty much advised to give it a miss, it wasn't great, but maybe you're into these kind of things, maybe you really want to play a free first person shooter in this vein, maybe you get kicks out of it like people still get kicks out of Counter Strike after so many years, maybe you can cope with the little jagginess of it and if you have friends, colleagues, family members that like to play these types of games maybe you can make the most out of it. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. If you like this video please consider watching another. Two suggestions will be on screen now. Also, if you have not subscribed already, please do so by clicking the icon in the middle of this screen. Every view and subscription will go a long way to helping the channel grow, and in turn will result in more content for you. Thank you, and until the next time, goodbye.